Hi, welcome. I'm Katie Kazire and I'm a book lady with Usborne Books and More. And today I'm going to share with you our family's top 10 favorite books. So to get started, we have See Inside Your Body. This one is the first book we got with Usborne and it's the one that we really fell in love with. My three and a half year old son is obsessed with the body um, and he loves all of these great flaps and informative pages. Um, the next book that we like is one of the Shine Light books, and this is a new release. Um, this is Wonders of the USA. So I really like it. I homeschool preschool my son, and so I really like it to teach him about um, the United States. Um, so let me just give you an example of how these books work if you haven't seen the Shine Light books. So you're going to take your flashlight, or you can use your phone, um, you know, at night when it's a little bit darker. And then you're going to shine it behind, and a picture will appear. So they ask questions. It's a great nonfiction book. It talks about all of the special landmarks in the United States. Um, and it's really exciting for kids to learn about. The next book is the Cinderella Peek Inside a Fairy Tale. Um, I got this for myself and my son just fell in love with it. It's got these awesome laser cut pages and flaps. Um, so it's very interactive and just way different than any other version of Cinderella that I've ever seen. The next book that's really good for potty training and um, you know what, kids of all ages love to talk about poop. So this book is called What is Poop? And it's a lift the flap, very first questions and answers book. So there's lots of great flaps. It's really basic for kids. Um, but then it also has just kind of fun facts. Um, how much poop does an elephant do? This much every day. And kids just think that's hilarious and it's really helpful with potty training just to talk about where does poop go and um, where are you supposed to go. So this is whose poop, so it's kind of like some clues. So we have the wombat who has square shaped poop, smelly one, the dog poop, it's really fun. Um, the next book is You Choose. This one is great for all ages and for siblings to read together. Um, it's good for pre-readers. Very basic prompts. If you could, do, if you could go anywhere, where would you go? Um, and then your child will pick somewhere in the book. So it's great for bonding and finding out what your child is interested in as well. Um, so each page has a different prompt. Would you travel with wheels or wings? When you got hungry, what would you eat, etc. And it's super fun. Um, the next book, my one-year-old loves this one, and my three-and-a-half-year-old. This is the Animal Hide and Seek. It has tons of sensory items on each page. It's got flaps, counting, farm animals. So my son loves to do the animal noises now. Um, he's 14 months, and it's just like a crack up. So this one is um, really fun, a great book for gifts as well. Um, and this book, All Better, is definitely one of our favorites. Um, it has these reusable band-aids, teaches empathy. Watch out, monkey swung too fast and bumped his head. Ouch! Clean it, kiss it, and put a bandage on it. And normally we store the band-aids on this front page. So it's good for matching and colors as well. Um, the next book, Raccoon on the Moon. This is one of our phonics readers and it's the collection. Um, so it has six phonics readers and it's $14.99, so that's a pretty good deal if you like the phonics readers instead of buying them separately. Um, the llama one, this is Mold Dick the Hole. Um, you can kind of see the illustrations. They're fun, they're bright, they're playful. My son loves Raccoon on the Moon. He really likes outer space. So this is one that we read a lot. And he asks me for it all the time. Um, the next book that I really fell in love with, and I was surprised at how much my son loved it, is my recommendation for first read-alouds, and then for older readers, it's just a great book. Um, it's the Illustrated Grimm's Fairy Tales. We have a bunch of different illustrated books. Um, this one is unique because it doesn't have like the real traditional ones. Um, some of the ones in here, Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, Sleeping Beauty, The Frog Prince, but also has Rumpelstiltskin, Tom Thumb, The Bear and the Wren, The Goose Girl. So my son just really enjoys these stories, and he will sit while I read them, um, you know, one after the other. So I have to pry him away from these for bedtime. Great first read aloud. Um, the last book is one that I think is just so much fun for all ages. It's about Nibbles the Book Monster. And if you haven't heard of this one, write it down. You're going to want to put it on your wish list. It's, it, like, kids just love it. Um, this is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. And they love that you can, you know, pull them in and out of this cage. Um, Nibbles likes to nibble soap and nibbles nibble socks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is books. And they just, like, scream. And they love to watch him. He nibbles through the books. And he just makes so much mischief. He gets into different fairy tales. 
Um, and he's just such a troublemaker. <laughs> he goes into Little Red Riding Hood. He gets into Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, and then you think you've caught him at the end. But wait a second. Let's check, see if he's still in there. And he's escaped. So it's really fun. This one has a matching plush as well for kids to play with. All right, so that's our top 10 books for Usborne and Kane Miller. And I hope you can find something that your family enjoys.